Hi everybody, it's Faith from Creative Bug coming at you live like we do every Tuesday and Thursday and I have a very special guest in the studio with us today, Madeline. Hi everyone, I'm Madeline. I am a Philadelphia-based lingerie company offering both DIY and ready-made lingerie. I also host monthly workshops out of my studio. And we have, this is our third day of filming. Yes. We've done three classes. Yes. And they are all obviously underwear based. Yes. And bralette based. And bralette based. And we're super excited. I've learned so much. I've sewn a lot of garments, but never before lingerie because it seems very daunting. She's going to make a bralette. I'm so ready. <laughs> as soon as Maddie heads out, I'm getting ready to cut out the pieces um, any minute. And so one, we were talking about different tips and hacks versus just doing a whole project of things that can refresh your lingerie. And you told me about this particular project. Yes. So if you're like many women, you keep your lingerie for a long time. And Too this long. is a great way to revive an old bra. Or if you have a basic bra, such as a beige bra, maybe you want to put a strap elastic, a pop of color. Um, and also, if the thought of sewing bras, bralettes, underwear kind of scares you, this is a great way to kind of dip into the world of elastics and other trims and other types of sewing that are related to laundry, but not dive in fully. Um, so you want to go right in? Sure, absolutely. Let's see um, so this what is, we need. So what you'll need is obviously an old bra or just a basic bra um, with the bra straps. You will need a strap elastic. Um, and what makes strap elastic different from just a regular three-eighths of an inch elastic. Strap elastic obviously is used for your straps. It usually has a shiny side and a matte side. Um, I will say that if you're looking for strap elastic at any craft store or a fabric or trimming store, um, they might have pico elastic. Pico elastic and strap elastic are not interchangeable, so don't try to use one for the other. Um, you also want to make sure that your strap elastic on your bra, your current bra, matches the same width as the new uh, elastic that you'll be using. One, because you'll be recycling the hardware on your other bra, so the rings won't fit onto a larger strap elastic or a smaller strap elastic. Um, so you might want to bring your bra to the store, or if that is kind of weird, um, you want to take off the straps and then just bring it to the store. That's also a great way to say, hey, I have this strap elastic. Do you have something similar, maybe another color? Um, so you'll want to take off your straps from your current bra. Um, you can use a seam ripper, you can use scissors, um, clippers. Um, I'm actually using duck build scissors. You don't need these scissors, um, but they are great if you are gonna get into laundry sewing. So you're just gonna clip those, the seams that were used to put the straps together. I would also, on the back before you take off um, the strap elastic. I'm just gonna use a needle, uh, but you could use pins as well. Um, mark where your straps are in the back, because you'll wanna insert them or sew them at the same spot. So I'm just gonna mark this right here. Again, I'm just marking where my straps were, so when I take them off and re-sew it, I know exactly where they were. Um, so you're going to take, removing the old straps, and then I'll take a seam ripper for this one and take it out. Make sure that you don't actually rip out your bra. And don't forget, we are live, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and we'll let Maddie know when there's a yeah. pause in the action. So I've taken off my strap. Um, so you will want to use a, the new strap, and I'm going to use one of my favorite tools in bra making, a se super secret weapon. It's called uh, temporary spare adhesive. My favorite brand is Otis 505. You can buy it at a craft store, on Amazon. Um, you're going to take this, spray a little dab at the end, then you're going to take your ring and or your slider, I'm sorry, and you're going to feed one end up through one side and then down through the other. 
and you want it you want the distance from the fold to be about three quarters of an inch and I'm using a spray adhesive and I use it a lot um, in sewing lingerie is it acts as pins so it's going to hold that there because sometimes putting a pin in distorts the fabric or it can shift um, so this is a great alternative to using pins. It doesn't gum up on your needles and it will wear off after a couple days or with washing. So now I'm gonna sew a bar tack, which is a straight stitch on a short stitch length, about 1.8. I'm also gonna move my needle position all the way to the right so I can get really close to the metal hardware. I'm moving my needle position, reducing my stitch length to 1.8. I'm also starting in the middle. Sometimes it's hard for the feed dogs to pick up the fabric if you start from the beginning. So I'm gonna start in the middle, sew to the end, and then go all the way back to the beginning, and then sew forwards again. So back, and then sew forwards. You can sew a bar tack three, five, seven times, um, however much you want. Um, obviously the more stitches that you put, the more secure it is. I just really don't want to have a bra strap falling off, so I like to do at least three passes. Then you're gonna take, so here, it kinda looks like a belt. Um, if you need to, you can trim close to the stitch line. Then you're going to feed the strap elastic from the back to the front of the bra. So from the wrong side to the right side. And then you're gonna weave it up through the slider and down again, just like you did before. And then you're gonna place it underneath on the wrong side of the bra. And you're gonna sew another bar tack. And you want the width or you want the distance from the top edge. You want the strap elastic to pretty much cover the pico elastic that's at the top of the back band. I'm going to pin it in place. You could use a spray adhesive as well. And I'm going to sew a bar tack. I'm going to adjust my needle position so it's in the center of the pico elastic at the top of the back band. Right in the center, remove your pins. Then you're gonna sew forwards, backwards, and forwards again. I'm just gonna go backwards one more time, and then forwards. Clip your thread tails. Nobody likes a hairy bra. And So on this, on this bralette, the straps match the color of the fabric, and then we replace it with a light uh, yellow strap elastic, which adds a nice uh, pop of color. So you'll do the same thing to the other side. And that's it. Now, for the people who are super excited, but are too excited to wait for the classes to come out, where can they find some of your patterns and kits? Yes, yeah, so I have four free PDF uh, laundry patterns that are available to download on my website along with kits. So uh, I feel like laundry sewing is not hard. What's hard is sourcing all the fabrics and supplies. So you found this great blush pink lace and you found this great pico elastic, but where are you gonna get matching uh, uh, strap elastic and rings and sliders and hooks and eyes. So I put all that together in my kits. I also have six patterns or seven, six laundry patterns with simplicity, one bodysuit pattern. And I offer kits for those as well. Uh, ship internationally too um, on my website, www.madeline.com. And tell us about your new favorite, because that is also my new favorite. Yes, it's the uh, Madeline Simplicity 8711. Uh, it's an underwire bralette. So a bralette technically doesn't have an underwire, but 
this bralette is meant to combine the ease of a bralette and the support of an underwire. So I've worked with a French manufacturer to uh, produce a monowire. So a lot of girls, a lot of women hate how underwires poke them at the center front. Um, this monowire, it's just one underwire that offers lift and support, but also the ease of a bralette. Um, so I'm really excited about this and I have uh, four kits available on my website. And what did you say about this one, mono wire, not uni boob? It's not a mono wire, but it doesn't create a mono boob. So it doesn't flatten you out like a pancake. It's, and it's the, the bra itself is super pretty. It has it's this beautiful ruffle detail. Life changing. And it has a matching panty. Yeah, it's a matching ruffle panty. And Courtney, do we have any comments? Everyone is loving it. Um, of course they are. Tell us a little bit about your sewing machine and your duck bill dessert. Oh, I love that. Okay, so you don't need a special sewing, me sewing machine to sew lingerie. I, I, at my workshops, I use a FAF Passport 2.0. So I am sponsored by FAF, um, but what is great about the Passport, it's an affordable, reliable, solid machine. Um, all you need is a straight stitch and a zigzag stitch. Um, what was the other question? About the duck-billed scissors. Oh, duck-billed scissors. So these are actually called duck-billed or applique scissors. So when you sew pico elastic, um, to trim the seam allowances underneath, if you take like 8-inch ganger scissors, it's kind of hard to really get close to the stitching. So this little blade right here allows you to get close, trim your seam allowances, and kind of just, I usually take one little piece, snip into it, and just slide it and trim the seam allowances. Available on Amazon. Those are essential for your lingerie sewing yeah. kit, absolutely. And they look very yeah. exciting. Yeah. And this also is a good travel machine. So I'm based in Philadelphia. So went on the plane, traveled all the way here to San Francisco. You get your bicep workout for the day. Are pe do people want to ask you questions about this when you travel with your machine? The most often question that I get is, do you sew? And I say, no, I just carry this around for fun. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining us. And we'll see you, what day of the week is it? Thursday. We'll see you next Tuesday, and you'll be seeing Madeline around for her next three classes. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone.